Hey guys, uh, today's question is that how to use standard scalar in pandas. So let's understand what exactly this standard scalar does and how do we use that in pandas. Okay. So, so let me just what standard scalar does. Okay. So what exactly standard scalar does? So let's say um, I have a data set, okay? And let's say there is one column and there is another column. And let's say this is my target, okay? And these two first and seconds are my predictors. So let be X1 and X2. Let this X1 be, let's say temperature. And let's say this X2 be some distance, okay? Distance, okay? And the temperature is, let's say, 32. Distance is, let's say, 1,500. 36, let's say, 2,000. Um, 31, let's say, 2,600. And let's say, 32, and let's say, 2,000. Okay. So as you could see, as you could see, as you could see, if I just take my X, X1 and X2, X1 and X2, this X2 is or rather I should say, uh, take this as X1 and take this as X2. So as you could see, your X1, which is basically lying in the Y axis, which corresponds to temperature predictor, its range is quite small. It's like going from, you know, let's say 25 degrees to maximum of 45 degrees. But if you see the distance, which is lying in the X2 axis, its range is quite high. It's like, it could be zero distance and it's going like 2000 kilometers, right? So we could see that the interval for one of the predictor and interval for another predictor, well, a predictor is not in the same scale. One is having a very less scale and one is having a very high scale. So what will happen in this case, whenever you try to build a machine learning model, which is using distance-based algorithm as one of its metric to compute, it will get biased towards this particular predictor, which is having a very high scale for some reason. Okay, And there will be a chance that even this temperature predictor is important for the current scenario that we are working, this will not get that much importance by the model itself. So in order to get rid of this, what we essentially does, we use standard scalar. And what standard scalar basically does that first it calculates the mean and uh, the mean and the standard deviation for first column, let's say this is the first column, okay? This one is temperature and this one is, let's say the distance, right? So what it does, it computes mean and standard deviation for this column and mean and standard deviation for this column. And it takes each and every individual element from let's say this temperature column and subtract from columns mean and divided by the standard deviation of the column. And so it does it for each and every points present in this data set. So for distance, there will be some points it will subtract the mean value of distance from that point and divide by the standard deviation. And so it does for all the points that are present. Okay. Now, when you do this, eventually what will happen? The mean of the respective column will become zero and uh, sorry, mean of the respective column will become zero and standard deviation, standard deviation will become one. So, so does for this particular column also, the mean will become equals to zero and standard deviation will become equals to one. And more or less, when you plot your data, let's say you plot your data, this is your, um, was your X1 and this one was your X2. When you plot your data, you'll see that, that after scaling, all of your data gets centered towards the mean value, okay? Gets centered towards the mean value. And 
the standard deviation will be one somewhere not exactly but one okay and the mean will be if not exactly but somewhere around zero okay so this is what happens after scaling the data gets scaled and uh, now every feature starts getting the equal importance by the model so how do we do it in python let's see so for that i'll just import my pandas and then i'll say i'll take a df and uh, i'll say pd dot read underscore csv and inside of it i'll take diabetes data set let's see so as you could see that this is my diabetes data set so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna break this data frame into two parts that is x that is the all the it, all the all the predictors and why that is the target so what is the target target is the outcome and remaining these alls are the predictors so i'll just choose my x equals to so if i say df dot drop and then i say outcome simply so what i'm doing that i'm dropping the outcome column from the data frame so i'll say axis equals to one and simply i say y is my outcome which is not going to get scaled anyhow. So I'm just scaling all my predictors, okay? Now, now I have bifurcated my data into X and Y. So I require a standard scalar library in my system for that. It is available in scikit-learns, uh, you know, a module. So I'll say from sklearn, and the sub model name is pre processing. So, pre processing import standard scalar. Okay. When you have this standard scalar, then how do we use it? First, we create an instance. So, I'll just say scalar, which is nothing but one of the variables that I've said. And I'll create one instance of standard scalar over here. And then I'll use this object for, for, transforming transforming my non scale data to scale data so i'll say scalar dot fit underscore transform so when i say fit underscore transform and if i put x what is essentially is going to happen we have two things one is called fit and one is called transform so the moment i say fit it means that learn all the parameters so what are those parameters over here if i just come up i have said that that first it learns what is the respective mean and standard deviation of the columns. So this is what fit is doing. Fit is making the model learn about the mean and standard deviation of particular column. And when we are doing transform on top of that, it means that you start subtracting from each and every point, the mean value, and then divide it by the standard deviation. And you have to do it for all the data points present in the data set. That's what being called as transform. Okay. So scalar dot fit and transform. And eventually I'll get my scaled X. So I'll just write a variable X scaled, run it. Now, if you want to see, it looks like this because this is a NumPy array as such. But if you want to check, you can just say shape of X scaled. And if I just take my X and say X dot shape, You'll get it is having the exact shape 768 rows with eight columns now now the thing is if you want to know whether it has scaled or not let me just take one of the columns let's say um i'm i'm taking blood pressure so i'll say x how do i choose my blood pressure from here this is a numpy right so i have to select all the rows and i have to go for second column right zero one two because this one belongs to zeroth index one and two so i'll say x scaled then all the rows and select the second index column all the rows and select the second index column and this is my blood pressure okay now check for its mean so i'll say dot mean so it's giving 1.5 raised to the power multiplied 10 raised to the power minus 17. So it's minus 17. So eventually it's going to yield 
a very small value, which is very much closer to zero, right? And if I just copy the same code and in place of mean, if I just say STD, that stands for standard deviation, it gives a perfect one. So you see that after scaling, how my columns got changed such that it's mean became zero and standard devi deviation became one. Okay. That's all guys. Thank you.